So this behind me here is, a, um, I call it prickly pear, native plant of this area. And um, this, uh, virtually every part of the plant is used as uh, food, or what has been used as food by uh, natives, Native Americans. Um, still used in the Mexican culture today. Um, The, um, the reason I started photographing is I, there's a flower on it, and the flowers of, of most cactus are really quite beautiful. Right next to it, this this one right here. Let me switch this around. This one right here. That's uh, agave. But this 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 is what caught my eye. The, the blooms on most cactus are really quite vibrant. Now this, uh, after the bloom's done, pollinated, this little piece of, it's a fruit. Uh, I always call them cactus apples, but there's other names for them. Uh, the natives have different names, and I'm not sure if I can remember what the right name is. The those are those are edible and, and on some some species of this um, prickly pears is what I call it because some, sometimes these are called pears uh, prickly pear. There's also um, beaver tail is another name for it. So these these petals can be processed in a way that I don't know how to do, but I've seen I've seen them you know remove the thorns. The thorns are really quite impressive remove the thorns and, and uh, cook it on a barbecue and then they can eat it like that. It uh, tastes okay. I don't, I don't, I'm not fond of it. But a lot of people, a lot of the Mexican area that, uh, that live in this area eat it. But it's a native plant, Southern California, as is agave. This is the blue agave, which is the native one. There's lots of agaves, but the, the blue one is native. And it's also used as a uh, food source, uh, the fibers of the plant are used to produce rope, it's called sisal, S-I-S-A-L, uh, sisal rope, and uh, the, the stump is ground up and fermented and used to make an, uh, an alcoholic drink. But they grow native, they're native around this area. They, there are commercial plantations down in parts of uh, Baja California that raise these for the fiber and for the the fermented drink. So this is a blue agave and what I call prickly pear. I'll look up the Latin names for both of them later. I think agave is the Latin name, but uh, for that one. Um, makes a good fence barrier. Uh, it was often used around the missions as a barrier to, to, to keep enemies out because it's like a hedge that's impenetrable. But that flower is just vibrant. That's what caught my eye.